In this video, I wanted to go over how to fix an error that I was recently seeing in a Nuxt application that I was creating. So I was going through the uh, create Nuxt flow, and let's just go through this right now. Let's say I'm creating a new project called my project, and it's gonna burn through a bunch of these things. We'll choose a package manager. Um, and once I got to this point, I wanted to use my own company uh, UI framework that we had. So I chose none here. Um, and that turns out that ended up, I think this is what caused it, ended up causing some issues. Um, so I think this doesn't truly cause issues, but uh, there was something that I didn't take into account later on, which we'll go over now. So I chose none here. Um, we won't go too much further into that. But anyway, once I got to a point where I was going to be importing the, um, if we jump down here, I was actually importing uh, these modules from, um, from our design system that we have. And so once I started importing these things, that's when I found this unexpected token export here. And I didn't really know what was the cause of this. I actually can't really remember how I found out how to fix this. Um, but basically, what I ended up having to do is going into the transpile key within my Nuxt config file, and then I had to add um, an entry within here. These, these docs are kind of confusing to me. I didn't really understand it uh, because of the example. Um, I guess there's a way that you can use a callback function to make this work um, and transpile whatever modules you want. But uh, what was key here was if you want to transpile specific dependencies with Babel, you can add them in build.transpile. Each item in transpile can be a package name, a string, regex, matching the dependencies file name. Okay, um, and then it says you can also use uh, a function. So what we cared about was the package name. Apparently the uh, internal UI uh, framework that I am using, it needs to be transpiled with Babel. So I needed to add, add it to this transpile um, key within my config. So uh, if we jump over here into our Nux config, then I'm just gonna leave this extend here. It's within build. And so I have to add this transpile and then within here, I want a array, an array. And for me, this is gonna be called the package that I have. And you can see that this is gonna rebuild. I have Nuxt uh, dev running in the background. So this will rebuild um, and it will generate the static files that I need, the files that I need to run my site. I think it still will be broken until, okay, so it actually, it actually does work. Um, I was thinking maybe we would have to stop the server and then restart it again. But once I added that little bit to transpile, then um, it started working and it was actually loading in the UI components that I needed. So um, that is what solved the issue for me, having that unexpected token export. Um, there is this stack overflow question, which I'll link to in the description where uh, there's an answer for a different solution to this, um, and it has to do with plugins, but that wasn't the solution for me. The solution for me, uh, I mentioned it in here, was this transpile within build and within uh, nux.config.js. So hopefully that helps out. That is how I solved the unexpected token export issue within Nuxt. Um, let me know if uh, there are any other ways that you can solve this or if there are any other root causes to this issue. And um, hopefully this has helped you out and uh, we'll see you in the next video.